previously on Beauty and the Geek. Ah! Super Geeks became Super Sheep. Oh In a monster makeover <laughs> that saw Gilbert take Dolly's breath away. I'm glad that we did that. Tonight, the geeks are in for a shock. Ah! As teams race to the finish line. But has Lachlan and Jordan's romance hit a bump in the road? I think this could be my first breakup. I just want to be left alone. Okay. Jules is a little hotty now that he's had a makeover, but I think we need to cover a few things when it comes to women. Nice. I've never had a proper girlfriend, and right now I'm not actively looking for love or a girlfriend, but uh, I wouldn't be opposed to it. So, like, how do girls and boys flirt, and, and is it a good thing to do? Eye contact is a huge yeah. thing. So before introducing yourself, you have communication with body language? Yes, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Communicating via body language prior to actually introducing yourself that seems a bit strange. All right, let's practice these facial expressions. The sex eyes, eyebrows, relax your eyebrows, don't smile. It's good to look down and then up again. So I sort of like, I don't care. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, that was hard. It seems difficult to do, but I think it's something like, like, not too much eyebrows, just. <laughs> Thanks, girls. Much appreciated. Oh, that's all right. I think we all love Julian just because he's just the cutest out of everyone. No, we really want him to get a girl. Fall in love and live happily ever after. <laughs> Time will reveal all. I'm feeling extremely excited about this week. I'm trying to maintain a calm exterior on the outside, but on the inside I'm going, yeah! Hi, guys. We move ever closer to the end and have already seen some massive transformations so far. This week, the lessons continue with joint challenges that are set to shake things up a bit. Beauties, you will have your knowledge of the English language tested. Oh a noun is a doing word. Oh my God, I <laughs> suck at English. I failed English in high school, so we're doomed. With some results that may shock your geeks. Sarah shocks me quite often, <laughs> in good and bad ways, um, usually involving something she says. Barack Obama. B E R B A A K C C A. Baraka. Then, geeks, with the help of your beauties, it's time to get revved up for the ride of your life in a challenge that will see you swap your lab coats for leathers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking that it's time to channel the funds. Get stuck into your study materials and I'll see you all at the first challenge. Bye, Bernie. Mackenzie can certainly string a sentence together. What have we got here, love? Uh, but I'm not holding out high hopes. OK. Do you know anything about English or...? No. No? OK. No idea. Jimmy thought that the best thing to do with our study is to play a little word game. So what's a boy's name starting with K? Keith. Cool. Country starting with K. Connecticut. Ooh. Connecticut. Which is a state that starts with C. Um, something you wear? Starting with K. Mm -hmm. I was thinking khaki shorts or something like that. It starts with a C. What do you remember from, say, primary school? Some structure of English, grammar, things like that. I remember only five getting the word next wrong. OK. I wasn't very good at school in general. In English, yeah, it was one of my weakest subjects. We're in trouble, Julian. What? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we all walked outside and we saw all of the geeks lined up with these little electrodes stuck all over their bodies and it just looked like a horror movie scene. 
There's a varying degree of nerves across the geeks. Gilbert looks like he's ready for a boxing match. Bendigus looks extremely nervous. Jimmy is quite tense. And Julian looks like Julian always does, smile on his face. Welcome to the electric spelling bee. <laughs> Beauties, you will have to spell a word. If you spell that incorrectly, your geek will receive an electric shock. <laughs> Let's just check that uh, everything works. The electric shocks, I wouldn't say they were painful, but they were certainly uncomfortable. If you misspell the same word two times, you are out of the challenge. Also, if your geek can't stand the pain any longer, he can choose to pull the lever. This will stop the current, but will also mean that you are out. Oh, I've touched my fair share of electric fences. I can cop that. You'll be spelling words related to your geek's area of expertise. I knew we were doomed straight away. I got absolutely terrible at spelling. <laughs> so, Jordan, your first word is cholesterol. Jordan's word was cholesterol, which is a molecule very close to my heart. Ka. Lest. Okay. <laughs> C. A. Oh. Whoop. Jump. Oh. Oh. It was very slightly uncomfortable, but not painful. Jordan? This is your final attempt at cholesterol. I'm so sorry. Cholesterol. Well, you can obviously tell that I don't look at packaging. C. <laughs> e. It was zap time again for me. <laughs> Jordan, that is incorrect. You and Julian are out. Dolly, your first word is renaissance. Renaissance. Dolly's word was uh, renaissance, or renaissance, as I pronounce it. That's just me. R-E-N-A. My mind just went blank, and all I was thinking was, oh, God, poor Bendigus. S. <laughs> that was not a good feeling. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Dolly, you have one more attempt to spell the word renaissance. At this stage, I was just thinking, please get it right. I don't want to go through that again. R E N A C. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> that answer is incorrect. Dolly and Bendigus, you're out of the game. Mackenzie, your first word is technology. Mackenzie has admitted to me that she's not a great speller. I think I could be in trouble here. T-E-C-H-N. Probably the anticipation of the shock is worse than actually being shocked. Coming up is the romance between Lachlan and Jordan. Lachlan, please don't do this. You're going to hurt me. Starting to turn sour. I don't have the skills to deal with this. Mackenzie, your word is technology. T-E-C-H-N. Probably the anticipation of the shock is worse than actually being shocked. O L O G Y. That is correct. You're still yeah. in the game. Yes! Giselle. Yes. Rhythm. Oh, rhythm. It's a very difficult word to spell if you haven't spelled it before. Rhythm. Um, R H Y T H U M. Yeah. Gilbert was freakishly loving it. <laughs> I didn't really want Giselle to feel as if she was doing me any physical pain. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. You have one more try. Bring it. I wasn't worried about hurting Gilbert because, you know, he had his muscles to protect him and everything. R-H-Y-T-H-Y-M. 
Mm. Unfortunately, that is also incorrect, which means you are out of the game. Sorry, Gilly, for the zaps. <laughs> How stupid is that? You can't just go from H to an M. That's it's not English. It's silly. All right, Sarah, you need to spell this next word correct. Otherwise, Mackenzie will win the game. Parliament. I'm actually reasonably calm and confident that Sarah will go well. P A R L I A M E N T. Parliament. That is correct. Yay, no zap. It's come down to Sarah and Mackenzie in the final round. Mackenzie, you have to spell this next word correctly to stay in the game. Gigabyte. If Mackenzie spells gigabyte right, we could win our first challenge. G. I. G. A. Probably the trickiest part is the Y in bite. B. <laughs> y. T E. That is correct. Yeah. I'm feeling very, very excited. We could take this one out. Sarah, you need to spell the next word correctly to stay in the game. If you fail to do so, Mackenzie has won. Your word is feudalism. Oh, rats. <laughs> um, why does Lucky have to be a politics geek? Why can't he be like a makeup geek? F. You. Ah! All right, Sarah. Your second and final attempt. Feudalism. F. A. W. <laughs> Sorry. With that, Mackenzie and Jimmy, you have won this challenge. Yeah, I won the challenge. It feels victorious. And this means that you and your partner, Jimmy, are now one step closer to the $100,000 prize money. And with the chance to nominate, are in a good position to alter the outcome of this game. It's very nice to feel safe indeed. Not looking forward to nominating, but it feels good to be completely off the table. I'll see you all later at the Geeks Challenge. Bye, Bye Danny. We don't get much alone time in the mansion, so tonight I wanted to whisk Jordan away to have a romantic evening together. So I decided to get some of Jordan's favourite foods together and some roses, candles, and put my best effort in towards being romantic, even though I'm not well versed in, in such things. Aww. That's so cute. Thank you. I was very, very touched. I wouldn't say anyone's gone to that amount of effort. Yeah, it was really nice. So I got you these. Aww. Lachlan! And they're real. Lachlan is trying his hardest. I do really appreciate it. It's good. <laughs> Cheers. Shall we? Here's to living in the moment. When we're together, we're just having a good time and being in the moment, which is something that I usually struggle with, so... That's why I like Jordan, in terms of why she likes me. <laughs> we arrive at the challenge and we have our grid girl uniform on. And the boys were very tough. They had their leather vest, tattoo sleeve, and they were looking the part. There was a completed push bike and sidecar in front of Bernard, but behind him were some that weren't. I'm thinking, this is going to be an uphill battle. Beauties and geeks, welcome to the raceway. Hi, Hi Bernie. Geeks, in today's challenge, your beauty will be building you your very own custom bike and sidecar, which you will then race around this track. And I don't know about the other girls, but the only thing I've made is like an IKEA cupboard. Sounds like it's not going to be too difficult, right? Beauties, you must first assemble this custom bike and sidecar from the parts in front of you. I really need a step-by-step -step instruction book. <laughs> Sarah asked me how to use a spatula. The beauty that completes her build the fastest will give their geek a massive advantage in the upcoming race. 
So, are you ready? Yeah! yeah. On your marks, <laughs> go! We had a race to the bikes and I got to the first bike, which was a yellow bike. What was mine? Oh, this. My bike was red and I was happy because red goes the fastest. The parts of the bikes that were on the floor was the bike, the side cart, some nuts and bolts and a... Uh, some, to anything, but Titan's bolts. Bolt tighter. Ah! Relax. I need the wheel, that would help. It was extremely frustrating standing behind Sarah. We weren't allowed to help our beauties. I don't know what I'm doing, Jimmy! The only advice I could really give Mackenzie is just take your time, calm down, make sure it stays together. Really make sure it stays together. Please. I was looking around, I was the first one that had like put it all together. But um, instead of screwing my screws down, I screwed them up from underneath. Oh, I've done it backwards. Yeah. Looks good I enough. think that'll hold. Yeah, good enough. I was very happy Jordan had finished first, because apparently that would give us an advantage. You did it, you did it, you did it. Kenzie did incredibly well. She finished second. I was very impressed. Done. Really? Excellent. Good on you, Dolly. All right. Nice. Giselle finished her bike fourth. Sarah was still struggling a little bit to complete her bike. Think about sound design principles. Look, <laughs> I'm gonna knock you out. I was trying to, for 10 minutes, work out how to tighten the thing. <laughs> I had no hope. Oh, this is what I did, it's so painful. <laughs> Look at my nails. It was very sweet of all the girls to come in and help me. I probably would have taken another two hours. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Beauties, I bet you all thought you'd be going along for the ride. Yes. Yeah. This is not the case. No. Please welcome the Hogs Motorcycle Club. <laughs> when the Hogs arrived, I might have hit behind Lachlan. Can you stand in front of me? Wow. Coming towards us was like 50 bikers. I was like, when we return, biker babes and bad boy geeks. This is a battle and I can win it. And could this be the end of Lachlan and Jordan's romance? <laughs> when the hogs arrive, I might have hid behind Lachlan. Can you stand in front of me? Wow. It sounded like a lot of power and a lot of carbon dioxide. I hope that Beauty and the Geek supports carbon offset schemes. Jordan, you completed your bike in record time, which means that your geek, Julian, gets an advantage in this race. As you can see by the stature of the hogs, they come in all shapes and sizes. This is a handicap race. You have won for Julian the advantage of the lightest sidecar passenger. Mick. Second in the build was Mackenzie. You have Zorba. Dolly and Bendigus. Meet Pitbull. Nice to meet you, Pitbull. Giselle and Gilbert meet Groovy. <laughs> Groovy? Giselle, how are you? Which means, Sarah, you have Roundy. Yay. I probably should have tried harder in the build a bike, knowing that Lachlan would have to carry 150 kilos next to him. Geeks, during the course of the race, you'll be required to make a pit stop. Beauties, you'll need to change your geek's sidecar tyre. Only then can your geek and his passenger continue on with the race. The first geek past the finish line will win. On your bikes, beauties to the pit stop. Lined up at the starting line, I'm feeling ready. This is a battle and I can win it. On your marks. I'm looking at the bike and I'm thinking, I don't think that's gonna hold them both. Set. As we take off the line, I feel as if I'm ahead and I look across to the inside and I see Bendigus, which actually surprises me. Yeah! Go, Bendy! I'm straining with all my might and I'm getting ahead. Julian started with a lot of pace. I was really proud of him. I didn't think he would move very far from the finishing line, starting line. Ah. Gilly was about in third, but he was at a good pace. Go, Bendy! Lachlan was taking a corner wide, and I was able to pass him by taking the inside. Jimmy! Come on, mate! Last is and you first! Come on, let him whip him! Go, Lachlan! Go around, go around, good man. 
My lungs are hanging out my throat. Pick up the pace! It appears that all the other geeks are behind me, just the way I like it. Go, Benji! And I'm like, yes, yes, we're actually going to win something. Going through the bends, I'm feeling that this particular mode of transportation is not very well balanced, and the weight shifts. What happened? Oh my god, they're winning! I'm stuck there in the middle, and everyone comes around me, except for one. Julian goes smack bang right into the back. Oh, crap. What do we, do? we didn't expect to suddenly crash into Bendigo's. So when we were happy that we were all in one piece, we tried to carry on as quickly as we could. Come on, we'll push it around. I haven't given up. Pitbull and I, we run the rest of the track. Come on, Gil, come on! This is too exciting, come on, Gil! Come on, look, come on, Aggie! As I'm behind Gilbert, I am gaining ground. And I knew the challenge would be won and lost in the pits. We came round the last corner into the pit stop. My legs were burning. As we come into the pits, he's just ahead, so it's going to be neck and neck. Come on, quick! Jordan was helping us because I think she knew that I wasn't good at changing tyres. If Lock them won, I knew we'd both be safe, and I would think that he would help me too if we needed it. Go, go, spin it, spin it, spin it. No, okay. The two people who were in front of us were already at the pit stop, so we were at a slight disadvantage. Good, good. Ask yourself. I was like, oh, no, if I don't get this done properly, then I'm going to lose at 4 a.m. So I was just, like, in the zone. <laughs> yeah, go. Yep, go. Come on, Gil. Come on, Gil. Come on, Gil. Come on, Gil. <laughs> Gilly got back on the bike and took off. I, like, looked around and I'm like, yes! I was a bit in shock that I crossed the finish line first. It was a great feeling and we did have to work as a team to win and I think that it was a very good thing for us. Gilly ended up winning and, and Lachlan came second and then myself and Jimmy came third. Atta boy, Jimmy! Yippee Kai! Third! <laughs> I'm so stoked that Gilbert's won twice in a row now. I must be good luck rubbing off on him. <laughs> 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 No strange. What happened? Physics happened. Well, beauties and geeks, what an incredible race. Gilbert and Giselle, congratulations. Yeah! Please step forward and accept your winner's trophy. It could well be that Giselle and I are the new power couple. We're going well. The trophy was so cool. Everyone's like, oh, it's got pigtails like Giselle. You know, it's meant to be. <laughs> Now, I have one more surprise for you. Naturally. <laughs> Geeks, as a permanent reminder of your time in the mansion, I'm offering you immunity from elimination. What? <laughs> All you have to do is get one tattoo. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> no way. I don't like tattoos. But if I could get away with some equivalent torture, which won't leave a permanent mark, then I'd be up for that. But not just any tattoo. A tattoo of your beauty's name. Yay, we'll do it. Oh, oh, man. That's a crazy. tattoo. This is a massive thing. Please welcome... Jem. You're kidding me. When Jem rode in on the back of a bike, it all became real, like someone was actually going to get a tattoo. First geek who steps up gets the needle and immunity. Who's up for it? This is not happening. Where does the tattoo go? The tattoo goes anywhere you like. Surely no one would do it. Right. Okay. I'll do it. Oh, my God! Oh! What are you doing? Lachlan is a, a conservative man. This is not a move that I expected of him at all. There's two primary thoughts that are running through my head. Where can I hide this thing for the rest of my life? And secondly, is this a good opportunity to guarantee that Sarah and I are safe? You know, I'm standing there and we were pretty close and it's going to say Sarah's name. And I know she means a lot to him, but it just still hurts a little bit. I am a jealous person. So, as Lachlan has opted for the tattoo, 
He and his partner, Sarah, are now immune from nomination. I just couldn't believe it, and I was like, lucky, like, don't do it. It's not too late, you can come back and step back in the line. And as Mackenzie and Jimmy won the electric spelling bee, and Gilbert and Giselle have just won the race, it means there'll be no nomination ceremony. Dolly and Bendigo's and Jordan and Julian will automatically go through to the elimination room. Lachlan, please don't do this. You're going to hurt me. Get the inside goss on all the housemates in our exclusive interview with tonight's eliminated couple. Check it out at our official website, beautyinthegeek.com.au. Okay, so we're tattooing you today. For business, yep. I've always said that I never would get a tattoo, but I think I'll see it as a reminder of this experience and ultimately it's been a positive one. Uh, can I have my undies on for now? Uh, not if you want me to tattoo your bum. I decide that an area of my body that I can generally keep covered is my buttocks, so I decide to step up and take one on the bum for the team. Sarah and Lachlan, is it? Yep. Is it S-A-R-A-H? Yep. Ampersand. Is this the craziest thing you've ever done? I once ate a Vegemite and salmon sandwich, so that's, this is probably the second to that. Sarah and I are quite close. She is like a sister to me. If I have to get anyone's name on there, I think I could live with uh, having Sarah's on there. What happens if I jump on first contact? It'll hurt. I did come back to the mansion first and just stressing and waiting to see if he really did it. Hey, possum. Hey. It was an anxious wait and I just kind of didn't really want to know, so I just hid in my room. I was really, really upset. You just thought like, you're gonna cry. I won't let him make me cry. <laughs> mm. To get a tattoo to save yourself from elimination and put someone that you're really close to down there, I think it's wrong. The tattoo thing is a big thing, like, it's nothing against you. I'm like, I'm glad if it was anyone, it's your name. Jordan has absolutely nothing to worry about. There's never been anything more than just friends with Lachlan and I. I classify him as a brother. He knew how hurt I've always got with guys and to trust him and then him do that. Yeah, I just feel like I'm back to square one again. <sighs> I don't think that they're going to recover from this and I don't blame Jordan at all. In the end, Lachlan just saved himself and he didn't really think about the consequences for Jordan. I think if you'd offered Lachlan on day one $100,000 to get a tattoo, the answer would have been no. However, this experience has been an intense emotional ride and I'm actually feeling quite proud that I've actually stepped forward and, and done something that I never thought I would ever do. We're done. Excellent. That was awesome. I don't know what Sarah will think and I don't know what Jordan will think, but I hope both their reactions are positive. Hey. Lucky. How are you going? I'm okay, yeah. Did you actually get it? Stop oh, it. No. Stop joking, Lachlan. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. 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 So does that mean that your kids are gonna have to be called Sarah and Lachlan? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. I think uh, the rest of the beauties and geeks were shocked that I'd actually gone through with the tattoo, but most of them were quite proud of me, so I'm really happy. Sarah broke down into tears. I think that she was very overwhelmed and flattered by the whole ordeal. <laughs> my bum. Oh my Ex god. <laughs> I started crying because first it's the shock and then it's like the realisation that he got my name and his name tattooed on himself. Like, the meaning behind that is just amazing. <laughs> Sarah and I were pretty good friends before this, but now this will solidify a lifelong friendship. I have not <laughs> seen guts like that in a long time. That takes real intestinal and testicular fortitude. Thanks, Jimmy. The real big deal here is that Lachlan is sending his 
interested party to the elimination room by getting another girl's name tattooed on his person. Heavy. At this point, I knew that Jordan was probably quite upset, but it was time to face the music. Hey. Still to come. I just wish I had a clearer head. I just don't want to let Jules down. Who will be leaving the mansion tonight? At this point, I knew that Jordan was probably quite upset, but it was time to face the music. Mm. How are you feeling? Not good. I really didn't want to speak to him. A lot of it was out of anger. He didn't really know what to say, as usual. So you have no, no respect for what I did today? There's heaps of things, Lachlan. Use your head for once. Oh, I've used my head. You have? Yep. So run me through what your head is going through. How can I be with you when you have Sarah's name on your ass? That makes me feel sick. Jordan knows that what we have is real, and Sarah and I are just good friends. She is like a sister to me. I just trusted you and you hurt me more than any guy ever has. I didn't think you were like the rest of them, but you are, and worse. Um, I've been hurt a lot in the past, and to let Lachlan inside and really like him, and for him to do this is really hard. And I really didn't expect it, so I think that's why it's even harder, especially coming from him. I don't know, I don't know what you want from me here. I don't, have the, I don't have the skills to deal with this. Obviously. I think we'll fix this, OK? I think this could perhaps be my first breakup, and it's pretty intense. I just want to be left alone. OK. Today was the highest peak in the lowest trough. I've had two huge firsts, my first tattoo and my first breakup. I am pretty drained at this point. I did really like him. I don't know if it was love, but it was something. You know, you know that I don't like to acknowledge that you might be going home. Mm. Dolly and I are quite good friends, and at this point in time, I'd naturally like her to return from elimination. You gonna miss me? I'm definitely gonna miss you. Aw, that's cute. I don't think Gilbert's <laughs> gonna cope very well. He refuses to even think about the idea of me going. He's like, no, you're not going. You're not going anywhere. Like, you're just not. <laughs> like, I could. <laughs> in case this is goodbye, I am glad that you've been here. You've been a good friend. No, thanks, Gilly. Hopefully not goodbye. Yeah, I'm going to try to come back. Yeah, do your best. So can you multitask, Jordan? Of course I can now. Do you want to sing and pack at the same time? No, oh, to give me some study tips. Although Jordan is distracted today, I think she can see that we really need to study if we want to stay here. My favourite question is who wrote Ulysses? James. JJ. James. Jacobs. No. Ah! James Joyce. Yes, very I'm extremely nervous. I think with the whole Lachlan situation, it's made me feel a lot worse. Yeah, me and Jules are just going to study and pack, and hopefully it's not goodbye. We can do this. We're not going home yet. Hopefully not. Hopefully. Going against Jordan and Julian shall be intimidating, to say the least. I think we're up against our toughest opponent yet. I just wish I had a clearer head going into there. I just don't want to let Jules down. Jordan and Julian, Dolly and Bendigus, welcome to the elimination room. You'll each receive a series of questions. The team that answers the most questions correctly 
stays in the mansion. The losing team must leave the mansion and the competition immediately. Beauties, you'll be going first. Geeks, you can follow the action from the viewing room. Good luck, Thank you. Relax. All right, ladies, let's begin. You will each receive two questions on the subject of English. Jordan, you'll be going first. Please choose a number. Number one, please, Bernie. Good luck. Good luck, Bendigas. This is a picture question. Yes. These two pictures make a common word. What is it? Lip stick. You answered lipstick? Yeah. That answer is correct. Well done. <laughs> yes, very nice. Good job, Jordan. So, Dolly, for your first question, please choose a number. Can I please have number three? What is a palindrome? <laughs> um, I don't even think I can say that. Palindrome. I think this is a good start. <laughs> what is a palindrome? <laughs> um, I don't even think I can say that. Palindrome. I think this is a good start. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a type of poem. That answer is incorrect. What a surprise. The correct answer for a palindrome is something that reads the same forwards as backwards, like radar or kayak. Jordan, here's your second question. If something is very simple, it could be said to be as easy as which popular pastry? <laughs> Easy as... Think about it, Jordan. It's pie. What we ate the other day. Pastry. Easy as pie. Pie? Is correct. Yes! <laughs> Very nice. Nicely done. So, Dolly, for your second question. In the language game Scrabble, how much is the letter J worth? I have never played Scrabble in my life. Um, guess. Indicative guess. Yeah, the Monopoly question, we'd be fine. Two. You answered two? That is incorrect. The correct answer is eight. Eight. Oh, oh. yeah, that's right. Gentlemen, if you could join us in the elimination room. Sorry. Good job. Thank you. Awesome. All right, gentlemen. Jordan got two questions correct, and Dolly got zero. These scores will carry across to your scores. Good luck, mate. No pressure. <laughs> Good luck. Sorry. Let's continue. You will each receive two questions on the subject of tough guys. Here we go. Good luck. Yeah, good luck to you too. Bendigas, you'll be going first. Please choose a number. Number one, please, Bernard. <sighs> Nervous. Which bodybuilding competition did tough guy Arnold Schwarzenegger win seven times? What? <sighs> Mr. Universe? Mr. Is that right? You answered Mr. Universe. That answer is incorrect. Oh, really? The correct answer is Mr. Olympia. Oh, no. Last. I would have got that wrong, too. <laughs> so, Julian? You have won the elimination. Just like that? Yep. Wow. Beauties, if you could please rejoin us in the elimination room. Good work, mate. We had a good run. They'd be proud. Jordan and Julian, you answered enough questions correctly to win the elimination round and see you through to next week. Congratulations, guys. Thanks, Benny. Dolly and Bendigus, it is my sad duty to inform you you have been eliminated. Thank you so much for being such wonderful competitors on Beauty and the Geek Australia, and we wish you both the best for the future. Thank, Thank you. you. Gosh, I'll see you soon. Bless you. I'll try. I'm walking away feeling happy. I got so much out of being here. I learned a lot about different types of people. Before I came here, I wouldn't even thought that a man like Bendigos existed. Dolly, I'd like to thank you for everything while we were in this house, your friendship. Uh, the commitment, your help, your teaching. 
It's been a wonderful experience and I dearly cherish it. Oh, it's so sweet. Next week. <gasps> Let the makeovers begin. Are yeah, you ready? Geeks making over geeks. Oh, I think I've taken a bit much <laughs> off there. My grandfather was a barber. I work in IT. Giving Colin a tan was as close to a naked man as I have ever come. The most surprising makeovers yet. Please welcome the new look. 